Hi friends, let's build an agentic retriever to reduce the cost and improve the speed of retrieval for RAG systems. Let's say we are building a RAG application at the enterprise level and in the knowledge base we have documents related to product, user guide, developer guide, QA, chat history, etc. And for simplicity, let's say from each data source when we chunk we have let's say 10,000 chunks. So in our vector store, we are going to have 50,000 chunks, 10,000 chunks from each data source. We build a system and different users ask different questions. Here we have few examples. How do I create a new feature? Now in a standard rack, we search through all 50,000 embeddings slash vectors to find out the relevant context. But we know the relevant context to this question is going to be in developer guides. Okay. Similarly, for questions like which product is best suited for XYZ use case, the relevant context will be in product based documents. And finally, how do I use this feature? The context is most likely to be in user guides. So for all these different questions, by default, we will be searching through all 50,000 chunks. What if we could find out which data sources are relevant to the user query and search only within those data sources that would save us a lot of cost as well as improve the latency that's exactly what we are going to build today all right so for this exercise we are going to use hugging face docs for the data all right so we read the data or knowledge base and then within this knowledge base we have the metadata also the source of the documents uh, we'll see the example of that in a second okay so here we have all the documents along with their source and then here we split them into chunks of size 500 characters and for the demo purpose we chose only the first 1000 chunks okay and then we used an embedding model a small gte embedding model and created the embedding slash vectors and put them in a FICE vector database Okay, this is a very standard process. So here is our first document. So content of the document and in the metadata, we have the source of the chunk. Okay. All right. Uh, so we have 1000 chunks and these are all our data sources. Pept, Gradio, Diffusers, datasets. Uh, if you know Hugging Face, uh, you must be familiar with all these things, right? Hugging Face, uh, endpoints, documentation, evaluation document, transformers, so on and so forth. Now, at the time of query, the user cannot select which data sources to retrieve the relevant context from. This has to be a dynamic process and it has to be, there has to be an intelligent within the system to select the right data sources, okay? It cannot be the user. All right, uh, here we are just uh, counting those 1000 chunks, how many are from each uh, data source. So from transformer, we have 439 chunks, so and so forth, for example. Uh, let's say the user asked a question relevant to uh, these hugging face endpoints. Now in the our vector database, we have only nine chunks. So we should be looking or searching only these nine chunks for the relevant context instead of the 1000 chunks. Okay. All right. And this is the most critical part. So we will be using an agentic retriever. When we say an agent, we have to build some tools and provide them to the agent. So from hugging face transformers, import tools let's create a retriever tool okay now each tool in hugging face framework should have minimum uh, sorry should have five variables give it a name the description most important part because an agent will have access to multiple tools which tool it uses for a given job depends on what the description is so give a very good description here so here we are saying retrieve some documents from the knowledge base which is the vector index that have the closest embeddings to the input query. Okay, that looks nice. And the tool, it's going to take two inputs. One is the user query, and the second one is which data sources. Okay, this data sources part will become a clear in a second. It's a bit confusing uh, to me at first as well. And then the output is going to be text, and it should minimum have this forward function, which is where uh, most of the action happens. But within this init function, what we are doing is, here we have 
all the data sources okay we provide all our data sources around 12 data sources and what happens here is this part the agent find out which sources to filter out okay so here we are saying the source of the documents to search okay so we are telling the agent hey you find out the relevant sources from these all sources okay as a string representation of a list possible values in the list are all sources okay so this contain all the 12 values now based on the question the agent will figure out which sources to use okay once it figure out those sources those sources are passed to this forward function okay so within this function what we are doing is we are doing the semantic similar search of the query but we are applying the filter to search only within those relevant data sources now it might happen that the source selected by the agent might not be the right one okay in such a case we might not have any documents okay so here what we are saying is if the source is none that means use all sources if this init function if it figure out some sources use only those sources okay and retrieve top three documents now let's say here we figured out there are two relevant sources and we filter based on those uh, sources but we haven't got any documents then what do we do we search how many contexts are retrieved if there are no context retrieved then we default to searching through the entire uh, vector space or the index so here we are saying no documents found with this filtering try removing the source filter okay so spend some time to understand what is happening here uh, okay all right and return the retrieved documents and then we need an llm to power our uh, our agent so if you want to use open source llms running on hugging face uh, create an api and login and then uh, the transformer library it already has this hugging face engine for the llm and then uh, the agent there are two types of agent uh, one is code agent the second one is a json agent for more generic tasks okay so this is how we would do if you are using an open source llm ru running on hugging face right so simply select your llm and create the agent with tools the vector database and the all the data sources and here we have the llm engine but i am going to use open ai llms so for that similar to this hugging face engine module we are going to create this open ai engine module okay now this function is coming from hugging face so you don't need to modify anything at the core it is just this chart completion function okay now two variables you might change here the default model name as well as uh, the temperature but you can use this code as it is so instead of hugging face engine i am using open ai engine and gpt40 mini model same as before here we have created uh, the agent and then we can invoke the agent uh, with questions we'll come to this question in a second but let's look at uh, a different question which is uh, this question okay all right so just a recap these are the data sources we have in our index now the user asked the question how do i invoke hugging face endpoints now this the context to this question is definitely going to be in this hugging face endpoint documentation okay so we simply search for the relevant context within these nine vectors instead of the thousand vectors let's see if that's exactly what the agent is doing or not all right so first the agent calling the tool retriever in this case we have only one tool but even if we have multiple tools uh, it would have called the retriever tool all right so here it has the query how to invoke hugging face endpoints and you see here it already figured out that it need to search the data sources hugging face endpoints documentation okay so the retriever is not going to search through this entire vector space of 1000 vectors it will be searching only within these nine vectors for the relevant context okay and the user hasn't provided which data source to uh, uh, filter out right so it is dynamic and it is intelligent all right don't worry about this uh, this is just uh, uh, an error uh, in format and the agent corrected itself and finally uh, here is the output okay now we can look at the agent logs okay so the first step this is what we have so the agent thought i need to find information on how to invoke hugging face endpoints okay i will use the retriever tool 
to search for the relevant documents that provide guidance on this topic. Okay, that's all looking good. And here for the source, it has chosen this Hugging Face in points documentation. Okay, and as I shown, step number two and three, uh, there was some formatting issue, so the agent corrected itself. And finally, in step number four, you will see, okay, I have retrieved some documents that contain information about creating and invoking Hugging Face in points. Now I will summarize the key findings. And here we have the final answer. Okay, uh, that's the answer uh, which we saw from here. That's the final output. Okay, okay, our agent is working well. And let's look at another example. So here we have the second example where we asked, please show me a LoRa fine tuning script. Okay, so we are asking for a script on LoRa fine tuning. Now let's see what happened. All right, so calling the tool, the retriever with argu arguments, here is our query. And the agent somehow thought the data sources block will contain the right context. Okay, and then it searched within those blog data sources and it figured out that it did not have the relevant context. Then what it did is, again it is searching for relevant context, but this time as you can see the source is empty. Okay, so this means now it's going to search through the entire database. Now where is this coming from? It's coming from this part. Okay, so what happened first is in this part the system found out that it will search within the blocks for the relevant context for that given query right and then here it filtered out all those data sources except the block and try to extract the context but since it could not extract any relevant context the length of the documents is zero this is what we saw no documents found with this filtering and try removing uh, the source filter so next time it removed this filter and it searched through all the documents to retrieve the context. Okay, that's exactly what happened here. Okay, so it removed all those filters. All right, and then the final answer. So here it says, uh, so this is the script on fine tuning the LoRa. Okay, so we have seen two examples where the agent correctly able to identify the data source and instead of searching through the entire a vector store of thousand vectors it simply search within these nine vectors so you can imagine how fast uh, that would be and uh, it also reduces uh, the cost of the searching and improve the latency that's all for this video thank you very much